BNRC. In this video, we're going to look at how to set the throttle range for your receiver for your transmitter on a Hobbywing ESC. This works on Max 10, which I know it works, and the 10BL120. But as far as I'm aware, it's the same procedure. So, what you need is a battery. There we go. Your transmitter, your receiver connected, and everything plugged in as it should be. So, what we do is we turn the transmitter on and we keep everything on. It's already bound to this, which you have to make sure it's bound to your receiver. You can't do it if it's not. So, on your power button to your ESC is a programming button so if you hold the programming button turn your ESC on once LEDs start flashing then it's ready to program so one for neutral hold all the way back again reverse set now that has set if you, if you can hear that that has set the end point of the trigger on your transmitter. So let me just disconnect that battery quickly. Love XT60s, but trying to remove them is a pain. They're great because they don't come off, but they're not meant to get off. Right, so. What that does is, it tells that ESC where the end points are. So, the first first one you do, you hold it, starts flashing, you let go. You press the set button, and then that sets the neutral range, so where it is in neutral. You then hold it fully back, press the set button, that sets the full throttle. Full reverse, press again. It'll flash, you'll get the beeping sound, and that has set the end point for your transmitter. So if you change this now to a fly sky, you have to redo it again because each each transmitter will have a different end point. And if you don't adjust it, then it won't be set right and you could potentially be slowing your car down. Or as I found when I first connected my fly sky to one of my my um hobby wing 10 bl 120 i turned it on everything was going and my car went straight down the road and i had to turn it and turn the transmitter off so it didn't crash and it stopped itself because the end points were wrong i didn't realize that um it was going to do that it did um so it is important to do every Hobbywing ESC comes with data sheet and the first thing in that data sheet apart from connections is set the throttle range which is there so I'll hold it up there for a few seconds you can pause it to see how you do it um, which is dead easy if I can do it you can do it so that's what I'm going to suggest you do um, before you start using it is to set the throttle range or the end points of your receiver on a hobby wing. So like what you see, like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check us out on Big Bird Facebook, Big Bird RC on Facebook. Um, I'll see you on another video. Take care everyone. Bye bye now.